so I watched Pacquiao Bradley the first fight with my uncle. He's also a big boxing fan. He probably maybe was the reason why I got into boxing, liking boxing anyway. He kind of, because when I was a kid, he always used to have the fights on, I remember. And back then, I didn't like it as much when I was a kid. Obviously, seeing a boxing match, a boring boxing match, I just didn't really enjoy it. But obviously, I'm more mature. And obviously, if I was a, if I, when I was a kid, when I see... Uh, like really small. If I seen a Pacquiao fight, obviously, I'd like that. But what I remember was boring fights when I was a kid. But anyway, uh, me and my uncle, we watched uh, Pacquiao Bradley uh, fight again. My uncle said it was a close fight right after the fight, like when it happened in 2012. I was just saying, you're crazy. He's kind of a Pacquiao hater, so keep that in mind. He thinks no one can beat Floyd, and he he definitely thinks Floyd would beat Pacquiao. We're going to bet on that if that fight happens. 100 bucks, I told him. Anyway, um, so he said it was a close fight, and so we, he, and we judged it again. We watched it together a couple days ago, see who, how many, and we scored it round by round. And uh, our scores at the end of the fight, he had Pacquiao only one point of head. So he had Pacquiao winning, um, was it seven rounds to five, and I had it, uh, I had it uh, ten rounds to two. Anyway, he said this though. My uncle said that if you scored the fight as a whole, he said Pacquiao easily won. But if you score round by round, it was a much closer fight because at the end of the fight, uh, Pacquiao just wasn't throwing as many punches, and he was kind of getting his foot off the gas in the last couple of rounds. And I agree. Some of the round, the two rounds I gave to Bradley, I forget when they were, but one of the rounds was at the end of the fight, 12 and 11 or something like that. Because Pacquiao just was kind of relaxing and not throwing it, not being as aggressive and uh, taking his foot off the gas. But anyway, I had attempted to, and I told him, and I tell, I'll tell you that, being extremely generous, I could have given two rounds that went either way. So if I gave those two to Bradley too, the generous scorecard, eight to four for Pacquiao, four rounds for Bradley. But that's as generous as I could be. My regular score, 10 to two, judging the score how I see it. So my uncle had Pacquiao two points or one point ahead, something like that, seven rounds to five. But he said, if you judge the fight on a whole, Pacquiao easily won. If you judge it round by round, it was a close fight. But I, he still gave it to Pacquiao, even though he is a kind of Pacquiao hater. So anyway, 10-2, to 2, that's how I had it. I agreed. Harold Letterman had 11-1 to 1 or something like that. or ten. He might have had a 10-2, to 2, too. I always agree with Harold Lemmer, Letterman, though. I rarely disagree with him. I can't even remember when I didn't disagree with him. Uh, check out Harold Letterman. There's a sequel of videos on HBO Sports. I think the, the channel's HBO Sports. And uh, yeah, it's Harold, Harold Letterman talking about how to score a fight and what he thought of the first fight. They just got posted, so check those ones out. And uh, anyway, uh, what did you guys have the first fight? How did you score it? Let me know in the comment section below. And who do you think will win uh, this fight coming up on April 12th? I'm going with Pacquiao. I asked my uncle to bet on this fight. He's going with Pacquiao too, though. So he's not confident in Bradley. But anyway, leave your comments in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.